Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP memory and ABAP memory. And in the previous videos, we started with the practical part of ABAP memory. We created two programs. In one program, we have only the creation date as the input. In one program, we have the date and name. Both are the input from this program. To this program, we are passing that date through with. We are passing the name through a back memory concept. Now we will go for understanding of each and everything in the debugging mode so that if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared. One by one, we will go for practical. One by one, we'll go for understanding in the debugging mode. I'm putting a breakpoint. I will run this particular program. Suppose I will go for date. I will go for username. You can go for multiple values also. It's totally your wish. I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. And it is by default ticked, yes. Now, we are exporting the value of username to this memory ID. I am doing F6. It means the name, this particular values are exported to this particular memory ID. How you can check? You can go for new tool also. You can go for replace tool also. Suppose I am going for new tool. I will go for special tools, system areas, internal only. I will just go up. Now you can see we are not going for SAP memory. We are going for export import memories means a back memory. I will double click. Now just scroll down. If you are not able to see, go for page down. Page down. Page down. Now you can see we are able to see ER now. I will double click because this is the name of our memory ID. Just see here how the values in this particular memory ID. Now, if we will simply, simply go for page down. We'll simply go for page down. to see how the values is. I'll just go up. What is the C? I, E, Q, R, M. If I will scroll, R, M, E, H, T, A. Just see, is this the value? If you will see this S underscore ER num, what is the sign? If I will just go down, if I will just go down, you can see S underscore ER num, I EQ R mahatta. So these values are in the memory ID. You see, as it is just splitting. See if I will just scroll down. I, E, Q, R, M. If I will go for page down, E, H, T, A. It means this memory ID has the value. Now we are submitting or we are calling this particular program through submit statement. I will just go F5. This is not our code. If you lost somewhere in the debugging, do F7. Now, whatever the date you passed from the program, I'll just close this. Whatever the date you passed from the program, now it is into this select option. I will just do F6. Now you can see S underscore ER num is blank as of now, blank. Now the values are into this memory ID. From this memory ID, it will import and if the values of ER num will come into this. From this memory ID, now we will import. If you will see, if I will go to this now, new tool, special tools, system areas. If I will just go up. Now we have export import memories. If I will go to ER num, this is our ER num. So whatever the values are into this memory ID, it will simply, simply come into S underscore ER num. 
if i will search to f6 you can see in s underscore er num we got the value now s underscore er num is not initial yes this is true if this is not initial we are fetching that data based upon date and name now you can see in this internal table we have one record we have one record and we got the expected result this is f8 now the same to same thing is applicable if you are exporting if you are importing after that you should delete the values from the memory ids you should make it blank it is always always a best practice once you import after that you are fetching the data so delete delete from the memory id so what is the syntax delete from memory id and what is the name of memory id er now it is always a best practice why unnecessary value should remain yes if your task is over you should delete now i will show you in the debugging mode are the values getting deleted i am running this particular program i am just going for input i will pass the user name i will go to execute i will just go to desktop 3 yes it's there we are exporting the value to this memory id it means in this memory id we have the name if i will show you anyways i'll keep it open now yes sorry i clicked on wrong button special tools system areas this is our export import this is our memory id er now sorry and here we have the values yes i e we are submitting we are calling another program this is not our code with the help of import we will get the name now if i will do f6 you can see we have the name now we are fetching the data our task over now we should delete from the memory id delete now just see as of now memory has the value i eqr mehta once i will delete just see this now you can see memory id is blank now yes and it is always always the best practice now i am simply doing f8 and we have the expected result our existing program should not hamper suppose if i will go to sc38 transaction code suppose this is the program first program which we develop it should not hamper it should remain as it is suppose i am running this particular program i am going for date i will go for execute i will go for desktop 3 most preferable desktop now this import executed but there is no export now you can see this is blank because there is no export if export is not there this import will not bring anything now this name is initial if this name is initial this query will execute and we have the expected result so our existing program is not hampering our existing program is working as it is now just see we did this whole practical of a back memory. So what is the case in one session itself? In one session itself, we are passing the values. If I will go for first program, this is our ER num program. In one session itself, suppose I'm running this program into a session. Whenever I will run this program, this program will run in a session. In this session itself, you are passing the values from one program to another program. So this is our ABAP and that particular values are dedicated as yes, that particular things are into this particular session. 
they are not going for other sessions. We are not able to see the values in other session, but it were reverse in the SAP memory. Whenever at that time we set the values, it was a global memory. We are able to see in other session. Just see whenever I created the say, whenever I created the sales order or whenever I change the sales order. Yes, we are able to see. We are able to see 117. Yes, when I clicked on to that hyperlink hotspot button because that was a global memory. It is accessible throughout all the session but it is not accessible. It is only, only the scope into this particular session. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained each and everything in that deeper in mode. And yes, it is perfectly working fine. Then I showed you also how you can delete the values from a BAP memory. And the most important part we need to understand, yes, a back memory is a local memory. Its scope is into a particular session itself. So the major, major use is you can pass the values from one program to another program using a back memory. Its scope is not to other session. But in case of SAP memory, the scope, because it is a global memory. So once you set it will be get into other sessions also if the get parameter ID statement is there. So that's it in this video. Thank you.